What's up everybody? My name is Alejandro Pacheco and welcome aboard to this episode of the Business Airbus podcast and YouTube videos where I am documenting my journey in how to become a successful entrepreneur and how I can help business owners. On today's video I want to keep talking about sales and I want to go back to the episode from yesterday where we were talking about the exercise that I was doing on this seminar on real estate that I was trying to sell a house and the challenge was not to give the price of that house. So I remember we were coming um, back and forward asking questions just to try to get the another person to give us the price instead of me giving the price to them. And why I, wa I was talking about this again is because this also works for entrepreneurs or for people that are looking for a job. Um, what I mean with this is like if you are looking for a job right now usually uh, there is one question that the company will ask you if you are looking for a job pay attention to this um, usually they ask you like how much is your expectation of the money that you want to get from the new role that you are applying and the question to you is should I give them this range should I keep it for myself? What, would, what, what do you think about this? And I think this is a tough question um, because they are asking you for how much is the money that you want. And usually you think like, oh, I will ask like, I don't know, a specific uh, X amount, X and Y amount, and you will think like, I'm asking too much. But you never know what if the actually the base salary that they got is more than actually the amount that you are asking. So keep that in mind. You know don't you don't know the, the offer that they got for you. So that's why you need to negotiate. So it's the same exercise that I was doing on real estate. How to sell the house? Don't give the price. So don't give your price. You are trying to negotiate yourself because you are selling yourself to the company. And you have a price that is going to be your salary. And so when you have to reply to this question, just don't tell them your expectations on how much money you want for this new role. Just don't tell them. Don't even give them a range on how much you want for your new role. And the reason why is because this is a negotiation as well. You are trying to negotiate with the company and don't be afraid to negotiate. I remember I was afraid when I was trying to do this and I tried to research on YouTube videos, blogs, uh, podcasts, how to negotiate my salary when I was applying for a new role. And many people tell you like, you should tell them or some other I were saying like, you should not tell them. What I would suggest, and this is my own opinion and my own advice to you, is like, don't tell them. If you have the chance to negotiate your salary, believe me, you can get what you actually want. And I will give you this example. I have this uh, close friend. She was asking me the same question once, like, um, because I, work, I used to work with her. So I moved the company and I was getting a better offer. And I just actually asked me how much I was getting. I kind of, I didn't tell her, but I told her my strategy to get more money, which was don't tell them the salary or the expectation of the money that you want to get. And she was afraid. She said like, uh, how I'm afraid to do it. And I was afraid to do it as well. And so I told her like, you, it's fine to be afraid, but you are just negotiating in your salary. And you are putting on table your offer. But remember, as I said before, yesterday in my episode from yesterday, I said, like, be the last one to talk. Let them be the first one to give you the offer. So this is like the same exercise that we were doing um, on the real estate exercise. Don't give, you, don't give them the price. Your expectation of the, your salary. So try to find a way how to get back to reply back without giving the price asking open questions or tell them like another kind of 
answer. So I remember what I did when they asked me, they sent me an email, could you please give us your um, expectations? And I remember I told them like, oh, look, um, this is like a, a condition from my current contract that I'm not allowed to give a uh, salary uh, or my current salary. And they were okay, okay, uh, I apologize, I understand this. This is like a private information, that's totally fine. And I wasn't even lying. Uh, I was, it was actually a condition from my current my job on that time. And so I told them that and they tried to get back to me saying, okay, could you give us a, a range? And what I did was to tell them like, oh, I would like to um, review the offer from you guys and then we can decide a salary for my according to my experience and my my skills so i always try to find a better answer in order not to give them the my price and then i remember and this is uh, funny because i prepare uh, a script so i look in the internet and that's what i suggest you to do it if you are trying to look up for a new job go to google and I uh, put on, on, on Google, like, should I tell them my expectations on my salary? Or should I not give them this information? And try to find the best answers for these kind of questions. And so I prepared my script for so many different blogs, how to reply to this question. And I remember they called me. I was working my old job. And I have my script, so I had run to my desk to take it. And I didn't want my boss to listen to me that I was talking on the phone with another company. So I ran out outside the office, the company, the building, and it was so windy that my script like got away. And I tried to run just to, take, to pick it up fast while I was on the phone, like trying to negotiate my salary. And then I got the, 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 the paper, the document, my script. And she started asking me again the question, what is your expectation for this salary? And then I said, um, look, I, I reviewed the, the, the role and I'm happy to take it. Um, this actually match with my skills and my experience. Um, but I would like to hear the offer that you have for me. And she said, like, okay, I understand. And that's when that person gave me the first offer. See? Be always the last to talk. Let them give you the offer first. Okay? And that's how you win. That's how you get what you want. I know sometimes it can work. Sometimes it cannot work. It depends on your skills, how to negotiate. And... I know I hate that I didn't have the experience on how to sell things, and, but I've been researching and it's better to be prepared for these kind of situations. So that's what I would advise to you. Get prepared before to negotiate your salary. And you will see if you keep that information to yourself and you push them to give you the offer first, you will win. So don't be afraid to try to negotiate your salary. Um, because I remember I was afraid like to try to negotiate this salary and I said like, oh, what if I lose the opportunity to get this job? Because it's really a good role that I could get and I don't want to lose it. So I, I will accept whatever they offer me just to get this job. Don't do that. Don't rush. And be prepared how to negotiate your salary. So, because you won't lose the opportunity. If they are calling you, it's because they want you. But the idea is like you can't negotiate that salary. The salary that you want. So, if I was telling you, you can get more than you are actually expecting. Because you don't know how much is their base. And you can't get that price. So, let them give you the first offer. And from there, you can try, you can try to negotiate. And if, they, if you try to negotiate and they say no, that's totally fine. You can try to negotiate some other things. Like, for example, you can negotiate um, working from home. If one day I, can, I could go to home to work, you can negotiate uh, an extra 
two, three days, four holidays. Uh, those kind of things you can try to negotiate. I remember they called me and I tried to ask like a little bit more and they said no. I said, like, okay, that's totally fine. I understand. I was just asking. But what about if we can uh, agree with another benefit? For example, getting working from home and they said no. And I said, okay, that's totally fine. I was asking questions. What about if I, I, I could get um, like another week for holidays? And they said like, no. I was trying to negotiate all the time, but like they already, I, they showed me that they were standing by. So they were not willing to negotiate. And I still was getting a good, really, uh, a good deal. So, but you never know, you can get more if you ask the questions. So try to do that and you will see you can get whatever you want. Um, so that's my advice. As I said before, it can work or maybe cannot. And I would suggest you to get prepared before you go into an interview. But if it is in a phone call, um, try to be prepared as well. And believe me, it will help you. Okay? Cool ba bananas. I hope this uh, you enjoyed this episode. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram, alejandro.pachecos, with the letter S at the end, alejandro.pachecos. And for the Instagram account for this business podcast and YouTube videos is Business Airbus. And remember, we got also a fan page on Facebook. You can find us as um, Business Airbus as well. Business Airbus, please give us a like and it will show me your support. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will try to provide this kind of content because this is based on my experience before and I know it can help you as well. If you are trying to find a job or if you are the company trying to negotiate with someone, um, maybe you will find someone with this kind of skill trying to negotiate your, their salary. So don't be afraid to do it. You can get whatever you want. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next episode.